Hello, this is Cuckoo. Uh, no, I'm here with the analog keys by Electra, and I'm going to go through some of the patches that I've been making in in the last uh, couple of months in my spare time. And and starting today, I'm going to be working with Cuckoo for a couple of months. So I'm really happy about it. I'm starting off with this video, and so um, the, the secret of the analog keys to making something that you want to play live and and be um it's not just like pressing a button and it plays a sound the thing is you can assign like um five parameters for each direction of the joystick that uh, sort of and also for the aftertouch and if you do that you could build sounds that respond more um, dynamically and it's not just pressing a button it plays a sound so so i'm going to show you a lot of uh, patches that I've been making uh, using the joystick. First one is called Masteroid. Okay. You know, I'm going to put um, some more reverb on this sound because I think it sounds cool. The reverb of the analog keys and the analog 4 you know phenomenal reverb in fact I'm using the reverb for a lot of other synths as well because it's so it works so well so um, okay back to the sound perhaps a tiny bit less so okay thing you notice when you play around with the with the stock presets is the f phenomenal range of sound and the phenomenal bass and uh, lower mid-range um, it just sounds really really good so, and with this sound I'm going to show you how low it goes and how high it goes uh, this might be a bit uh, un under the top <laughs> but this is certainly a massive bass So listen to this aftertouch. It's really fun to play around with these parameters changes and, and make it your sound and make it respond the way you want it to respond. It, you know, you can play around with the stock freezes and they, they're great. They're really good. But if you do it, if you make it respond the way you want it to respond, that's the whole point of, you know, maneuvering a synthesizer, isn't it? It's the whole, it's what, what makes it really fun. So, after touch. You can make it really responsive. Okay, next sound. It's called Dionysus. Speaking about bass. Okay. Uh, you know, this is, um, yeah, let's. Put on some polyphonic. Okay. It's a 
nice, nice little thing. Um, Memorian, and now this is a special sound because I, uh, you know, you can generate sounds with the oscillators like you normally do, but with this sound, there's no oscillators in work. It's just the filters. The filters can resonate and oscillate too. So the sound is entirely from the filters in this sound. Let's check it out. I'm bringing in the oscillators here okay so without the oscillators set that you can make it respond the way you want it that's um, it's a great great way to, to set up your sound map a lot of parameters to the joystick make it your sound okay the next one is called accordion amp and this is a, a sort of a special sound because I realized you could do some sort of uh, chord tricks like this when I play a whole chord now It's nice, but now after I play that chord, I play just one note. Okay. <laughs> Here's another one called Piandru, and at some point I, I thought I'd try to make some piano sound. You know, it's it's I can't make it sound acoustic. It's just you know, it's just too. It's not possible to make an acoustic piano with this analog case. But it could do something that kind of sounds like piano, like uh, things. So here are a couple of patches that I made that are. Uh, variations of the same kind of idea. Let's see how the first one sounds. Oh, sorry about that. So this is the first one that I made. It didn't really sound like piano, but And again with the joystick. Basilius. It's based on the same patch. Let's see. It's sort of a bass sound. Uh, I put on the 
um, mono mode for this one. And it, it's um, Wanted it to sound like a sample that's playing, being played faster and, and slower. And it's sort of, I got inspired by a, a, a Nintendo Entertainment game um, by Sunsoft. It's called Journey to Silius. And again, the phenomenal bass and the synthesizer is just it's out of, off the hook. This, the joystick is very light, so if you want to do slow changes, you're going to watch it and, and you know, be really subtle and careful and delicate with this. Next one is called Batman. It's also based on the same patch, but slightly altered. Uh, I guess maybe some poly mode would do here. Wanted it sound kind of FM synthesis sound of uh, kind of thing. So with a parameter change, you can map anything. Um, you could like, like here, I'm, I'm mapping it to changing the filters and the resonance, boosting the resonance, and also making the attack slower and also sending more into the effect or sending more into the delay no delay here but delay here so you can map it the way you want it you can map the same things uh, on all of the directions and make variations and I have made some, a, a pitch bend on the aftertouch Okay, the next sound is called piano. Also trying to make that piano, let's see. Yeah, it's not that bad, you know. Okay. Kind of that kind of piano that you heard in the 90s. But I like the way that I kind of tricked it to sound like a sort of a sample, but FM synthesis sort of at the same time. So I'll play it lower, it sounds like it's sort of a sample. It's kind of funny. Okay, the next one is called E SWAT. Try to make a bass sound that sounded like a, a game that I played by a Sega years ago on the Mega Drive. Like. called Stella yeah and it's sort of a steel drum I guess yeah. but I want 
to to make them more dirty than you know the traditional steel drum synths um, are kind of clean. But I sort of like it, and with the joystick again, it can make it really playful, like. Um, That's kind of funny. The next kind of, yeah, this one is called Pat, and it sounds like this. Is a step sequence that should, I should really make it, uh, just a little taste of what you can do with a step sequence. Um, yeah, faster.
So, yeah, sorry about, you know, that's what you do in Outlook Keys. Uh, I, I set out to sort of um, demonstrate the, the patches that I've been making, but I just can't help it. I'm going to have to run into the sequence and make some, make some noise. So, uh, let's see. Uh, the next one is called Guacamole. And I call it that because um, a couple of years ago I, I made a soundtrack for an iPhone game called Guacamole, but they were forced to renaming the, the game into something else, and now it's called Smash Fiesta. And this sound is obviously not the sound that I made years ago, but uh, it's it's the same kind of sound, and I'm trying to make it a Nintendo Entertainment sound. So, um, uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, poly mode off. <clears throat> so, the bass line is like... Oh, sorry. So the re one of the reasons I made this sound was because virtually all the sounds that I hear from the analog keys and the analog four are massive uh, and arena full sounds. But I also like the you know kind of simple uh, Nintendo eight bit sounds. And so I thought, is it possible to make these kind of quirky old school simple sounds? And and yes, it is. So uh, uh, here is one. <laughs> Filters is uh, great filters, very good filters. That sound is called Arcadian, and Arcadian is inspired by some arcade game that I don't remember. Um, no, sorry, it's not. <laughs> well, I sort of made a, a really crazy sound. <laughs> I don't even remember what I did, but when I set out to make this sound, I, I felt like yeah, I'm gonna really push it to the limit and try to make it sound really. Um crazy and you know it's very funny to it's it's great fun to work with this okay the next one is called Trafalgar and it sounds like this I think I'm gonna do it in poly mode Poly, uh, switching on and off poly mode, I can select which of the tracks should have how many poly notes and, and stuff. So I'm, I'm switching on. A quick way to do this function poly, press these four buttons, and it's off, on, off, on. 
Listen to this. I'm going from this really silent kind of silent sound. And slowly releasing the joystick. And it's a it's fuller, fuller sound. And upwards I put the sustain and a kind of a racing uh, resonance thing and a vibrato so and to the right slow attack I tend to do that on most of my sounds slow attack on the right because that's something you you want to do as a keyboardist sometimes you just want to you know slowly slide into this uh, to the music and sometimes you just want to bing cut and also with a lot of reverb so the next sound is called mouse trap <laughs> one is called Bender I think that's the last one today Bender I made it at first I tried to make a, a guitar I, I really failed but then I, it, it got really funny when I, I made something out of it yeah. so it's clearly not a guitar at all but when I do this <laughs> And then when it dies, I can still bring it back to life. And this is based on the tempo actually, so if the tempo is slower the tremolo is slower so. Yeah, so that concludes my little snippet um, my patch uh, uh, yeah these are some patches that I've been working on for the last couple of months it's not like I've been sitting working on them full time but I'm trying to to make patches that are 
dynamic and that goes well with acoustic instruments and and also um, I'm preparing for two things one my next album and starting today I will start working hard on my album for a couple of months and two I'm going to Frankfurt for the Musik Messe uh, later in, in March and I'm really happy to do that because I'm going to be with Electron I'm going to hang with with the guys there and, and help them demonstrate the analog keys at the Musik Messe in Frankfurt in March in 2014 and that makes me really happy I'm really looking forward to that so if you if you're in Germany or or close to to Frankfurt by by the time please drop me drop me a line and come visit us in the booth uh, it's going to be really cool so uh, yeah that's it for today see you around this is cuckoo and if you're going to ask me about the patches I'm going to make more of these patches as I'm making my album and I'm going to release them when I'm done with my album so so be patient I'm going to re- release a cuckoo package with analog keys and analog full presets but what I think I'm going to do it when my album is is recorded so um and that means uh, the patches are going to be really fine-tuned by that. So there you go. There's a cuckoo. If you want to, you could um, subscribe to me at YouTube. And uh, it would be really cool if you did that. And because I, this is the place where I'm you know, putting all, all my efforts. And if you want to, you can also support me at Patreon. And if you want to, you know... Uh, donate a couple of bucks every time I make a new video uh, it would be really helpful in the long run so there you go Patreon uh, and YouTube and uh, you are awesome let's cuckoo, see you soon